Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So recently, a lot of people have been asking me to make a guide on how to get the JP or Japanese version of Dokkan battle on their Android and iOS devices so that they can take part in the sixth anniversary festivities, right? So in today's video, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna be starting off with the slightly more difficult, slightly more complicated version, which is for my iOS users, my iPhone and iPad users, okay? So the first step in this process is to actually make a new Japanese Apple ID account. So head down to my description, click on the first link to go directly to the Apple ID page, which will look like this. Now, once you're here, you wanna scroll down to the bottom and click on create your Apple ID. And of course, it's gonna ask you for some information like your first name, last name, country, um, email, password, all that stuff. But the most important thing you gotta do is change your region to Japan. So scroll to where Japan is on your list. Um, did I miss it? No, here we go. Japan, done. And then for your first name and last name, you can theoretically put anything you want, but just to keep this video simple, everybody should put Sun, S-O-N, as their last name, and Goku as their first name, okay? And of course, for date of birth, put whatever you want. I'll just put my actual birthday, which is February 11th, 1995. And then of course, your email and password. You can put whatever email you want. You can even make a new email just for this account. You just gotta make sure that it's not already tied to another Apple ID. So enter your email, enter your preferred password, and then move on to the next section, which is the phone number. Now, you will have to put a real working phone number in this section because as it says, it will be used to verify your identity anytime you sign in on a new device or web browser. So any phone number you put here will have to be able to receive messages since you need access to those verification codes, right? Now, the good thing is that you don't need a Japanese phone number. You can put whatever phone number you have, whether it's American, Canadian, or you know from anywhere else in the world, and it'll work just fine. So I'm gonna put my Canadian phone number, and the last thing you need to do is just fill out this little capture thing at the bottom, and then click continue. So I'm gonna fill out my information, and then we'll go from there. All right, so the code is N-U-G-M, continue. Okay, so apparently I can't read. Um, I swear I was right, but it said I wasn't, so let's try S-T-E-D, continue. All right, there we go. So now after it loads, it's gonna send you a code to your email. So go over to your email and find that code. The one they sent me was 975, 846 next and after that they're gonna send another verification code to your phone number so head over to your phone and you should have a text there so my code is three two four nine two three wait what oh <laughs> i missed the three three two four nine two damn it nine two three yo it's been a long day guys taking a second to load here um, I'm not sure why it's taking so long because I just did it for another account like 30 minutes ago and it was instant. So it might be my internet or maybe there's something going on with the Apple servers. Oh, it's loading. Perfect. Okay, so there we go. Sun Goku. Apple ID is don't be a Yamcha at gmail.com. And from there, you want to head over to the settings for your iOS device and log out of your current Apple ID account. And then you'll be able to log into a new Apple ID, which is the one you just made, right? So enter your email. For me, it's don't be a Yamcha at gmail.com. Next. And then of course, it'll ask for your password. So enter that. There we go. Okay, so now it's gonna send another code to your phone. So check for a new text with a new code. Two three two three eight six. Uh, it says this Apple ID is only valid for purchases in Japan. You will be switched to that store. Perfect. That is exactly what we want. So click OK, and it'll take you to the App Store. Click Continue, and you will see a bunch of Japanese apps. 
with the prices in yen, right? So click on the search bar and type in Dokkan, Doklan, Dokkan. There it is. And there is Japanese Dokkan Battle. So click get and it's gonna ask you for your password. Oh, click install and then enter your password. Now there is a check mark, but it's gonna ask for some more information. Yeah, this Apple ID has not yet been used in the iTunes store. So click review. Obviously keep your region as Japan. Click agree to terms and conditions, next. And for the payment method, you can just keep it as none. And for the billing name, you're gonna have to put the phonetic spelling of your first name and last name. Now the reason I said Son Goku is because it's super, super simple. For the last name, the phonetic spelling of Sun is just Sun. And then for uh, Goku, it's G-O-K-K-U. Now, if you guys put a different name, then it might be a little bit more complicated. I will put a link to a phonetic converter. So if you put like something different, then it will convert your name to a phonetic spelling, all right? But for people that followed me and put Sun Goku as their first and last names, just put S-O-N and G-O-K-K-U and you're good. Now for the billing address, you do need an actual Japanese address. Now I've seen a lot of people out there use the address for the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Tokyo. I think it might have come from another YouTuber's video. So if that's the case, then shout out to them. And for address, you want to put Grand Hyatt Hotel. Now I'm sure another Japanese address would also work, but to keep things simple, just put exactly what I put, okay? Now for the other street, it's optional, so leave it blank. For city, you wanna put Tokyo. For prefecture, you also wanna go to Tokyo on the list. There it is. And then for the zip code, it is 160-0023. And then for the phone number, put 080-555. 55555, five, 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 five. so eight fives in total. And then click next. And there we go, Apple ID completed. Don't be a Yamcha at gmail.com can now be used to access all Apple services. Continue. Now, sometimes there's this weird issue where after you finish the sign up, it's gonna take you back to your original store. So now we're back to the Canadian iTunes store. But if I try to get something, it's gonna say, Account not in this store. Your account is not valid for use in the Canada store. You must switch to the Japan store before purchasing. So if that happens to you, then just head back to your settings, go to iTunes and app stores, click on your Apple ID, click view Apple ID, and enter your password. And it should say that they're gonna switch your store. Yeah, this Apple ID is not valid for purchases in Japan. You will be switched to that store. Click okay, and now, you'll be back to the Japanese store. And then search Dokkan once again. And now you can finally click get, enter your password. Oh, it might also ask you uh, how often you want them to require your password. So I'm gonna click 15 minutes and the install will finally begin. And after it's done installing, you just open the app, uh, start a new account and you'll be good to go. Like I said guys, this is definitely the much more complicated one between Android and iOS, but if you, you know, follow all the steps, it shouldn't take you more than like 10, 15 minutes to get it done. So now we're in JP Dokkan. The red button is to transfer an existing account. So if you guys have another account on another device, then you can transfer it here. But keep in mind, if you're switching between OS's, so from Android to iOS or iOS to Android, you will lose all your stones, okay? And if you wanna start a new account, just click the orange button, click okay, click the orange button once again, okay, okay, okay. And there might also be this puzzle security game thing. So do that and uh, it should start loading now. Here's the notice to download all the game data, so click OK. And uh, it's gonna take you through the tutorial, and once all the data downloads, you can start the game. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you get JP Dokkan on iOS devices. Now let's move on to the Android side of things. All right, so now we're on my Android phone, and the first thing you wanna do is head over to whatever browser you like to use. I prefer Google Chrome, but 
you can use whatever. So go over to the browser and you want to search Q-O-O-A-P-P Q -O -O -A -P -P in the search bar. And once you do that, click on the first link that says download Q-O-O-A-P and click the blue button at the bottom or download Q-O-O-A-P. Now I know this might seem a little bit sus, it might be a little bit worrying, but trust me, Kuap is 100% safe. Tons of people use it to get JP Dokkan, as well as other Japanese games, so there's really nothing to worry about. Now, there will be a message at the bottom that says, this type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep the file anyways? Click OK, and then it will download the Kuap APK file to your device. So once it finishes downloading, click on the file, click install and then Kuap will begin installing. Now for some people, you might have to go into your phone settings and switch on allow install from unknown sources or third parties, okay? And once it finishes installing, open the app. There should be like a little like title screen or whatever. And then it gives you the option to sign in with Google, Facebook, or Line, but you don't have to. You can just click on the little X in the top left corner and you'll be in. So as you can see, Who app is basically like another Google Play Store or Apple App Store, except it gives you access to apps from other countries that you normally wouldn't be able to access in your own store, right? So if you wanted to play a Japanese game or a Chinese game or a Korean game or just a game from another region, you can usually find it in Who app. So go over to the top right corner and click on the search window and oh i just noticed that it's actually cut off here but yeah it's in the top right click on it and search dokkan i mean actually you don't have to because it's always in the hot games section right here so yeah click on dragon ball z dokkan battle and there's jp dokkan now i did already install it on my phone but if you don't have it installed there should be an install or download button at the bottom so click on that and let it download and then you can install it you know what for uh, presentation purposes. Let me try to download and install something else. Um, let's do this game. Naruto Slugfest X. I have literally never heard of this game before, but let's try it out. I'm actually going to quickly uh, move the screen up so you guys can see the download button. There it is. Right, so it's 2.06 gigabytes. Click on download, uh, click allow, and it's going to play an ad, which usually lasts about 30 seconds, but it's okay because they're providing us with a free service, right? So after the ad is over or after a certain period of time, there's going to be a little X in the top right corner. Click on that to close the ad and the download will begin. All right, so um, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Once the download is complete, you can install the game and then uh, enter the game and play it like normal. And that pretty much is going to do it for today's video. Oh, I forgot. So after the download, there might be this message. So just check allow from this source. Then there's a pop up. Do you want to install this application? Install. And uh, it's going to install just like any normal app from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. And after it's done installing, you just open it and you'll be good to go. Now, of course, I'm not actually going to play that game on this video. That was just for demonstration purposes but you guys get the point. Just download and install JP Dokkan from Ku App, open the app, and you're set. And that's pretty much all there is to say in this video, guys. Just a quick recap. If you guys wanna get JP Dokkan on your iOS device, then you have to make a Japanese Apple ID account, then sign into it on your iPhone or iPad, and then enter some more information, and then install it from the Japanese App Store. And then for Android, just go to your browser, search Kuap, Q-O-O-A-P-P, -P, download and install it, search JP Dokkan, or just Dokkan actually, click on that, download, install it, and you're good to go. And uh, that's pretty much it, man, for how to get JP Dokkan on both Android and iOS. Hopefully this video helped out a lot of you guys watching this video right now. If you have any questions about the process, feel free to ask it in the comments down below. And myself or somebody else that knows how to do it, will help you out, okay? 
And yeah, guys, thank you for watching the video. Enjoy the sixth anniversary festivities that are going on on JP right now. Good luck on your summons if you're summoning for Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku or Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.